Okay, Peter, this uh, video is specifically for you. Um, I just I had commented in one of your videos on uh, desoldering of uh, surface mount boards. Um, you were using a uh, uh, desoldering braid, which I do use. Um, yeah, good stuff. It's been around forever. <laughs> I mean, I've got uh, you know here's three diff you know different ones here. Um, Oh, where is the roll I use? Will I use? I get from NTE. I really like their stuff. Really ultra fine braid. Um, and don't get me wrong, this stuff works great. But like as you noted, you know your soldering tip temp's got to be just right. You don't want it, you know, like most things in life. You don't want it too little or too much. You know, too little heat, this doesn't work. You know, the solder doesn't melt too hot, and you can end up doing uh, trace damage on your board. And anyhow, I had mentioned that. Uh, with the system that I use, the Pace uh, multi-process machine, um, their desoldering hand pieces, they make a tip called the Flow Desolder. F-L-O-D-S-O-D-R. So kind of a little acronym. But it's the Flow Desolder tip. And that tip is specifically designed for doing trace cleanup. So right here, and these just happen to be official Pace <laughs> Uh, you know, demonstration or uh, practice boards, okay? So, but you can see I've put some good blobbed up solder on there, so you can see there's this, so this is going to demonstrate for surface trace, so you know, this is a, and these are really, really fine pitches, you can see, cause this is a, a 208 quad flat pack, and then here's a QSOP uh, 20, but, uh, and then just for some bigger stuff, here's a through hole demonstration board, and I've just, what I've done is this bridged across a bunch of exposed traces but the tip I'm talking about uh, let me get her cleaned off really well so you can see it um, now they make desoldering tips that look like this okay now this is just a standard desoldering tip move my hand here to get it to focus but Okay, this is a really big one. Um, it's one thing I like about Pace. They have some really unique ones. <laughs> like, I do a lot of uh, desoldering of IF transformers. So they have, you know, oval tips. Okay, these are designed for, like, tabs on, you know, speaker jacks. The little tabs on the IF transformers and stuff like that. But the, the flow desolder tip is very similar to this one. Like I say, now, this one is just a very large diameter hole. But it's just for normal desoldering. The the, it, the flow desolder tip looks very similar to this, but it's about this diameter, but has a really small hole. But the trick is, okay, so there it is. I actually have it in the iron. The, re the rest of it, actually I can pop it out of here really quick. Okay, so it looks basically the same inside. But I think one reason this works so well and you can see it has a really a fairly small hole, especially compared to this one. But there's a bevel. Uh, i got to find it here. Which side is it on? Actually, it's facing me, so there, if I hold it in that direction, I don't know if you can even really see that or not. This one side right here, there you can see it, has a little bit of a bevel. Okay, and I, the reason I think they did, when I, the first one of these I ever got, I thought, ah, oh, they must have dropped it. It's a factory, you know, it's a flaw or something. No, because <laughs> that actually is how this works so well. That bevel they have right there. So I don't know with your desoldering iron, if you have any tips that look like this, you know, have the thing is you want to have that really, really thick wall. And what the reason you want to have that is this holds a lot of, of heat energy being, being, a, there's a lot of metal here. Um, so if you take a normal tip, that's why they don't work so well. Because, you know, a normal tip, like, let's say, like this, you can see how it tapers down. It doesn't have a lot of thermal mass out here at the end. And if you're you're sucking for a long time, the tip cools down. And it can cool down below the solder's melting point. Where, you know, or in the case of, like, their extended reach ones, they don't have much thermal, you know, reserve in them to speak of at all. Because they're so thin. But they're great for getting into tight spaces. But the the bevel on this tip... I've found from experience is they put that on there because that allows that's where the air is meant to go in okay uh, so you know it's it's making really good contact on you know probably three quarters of it or more 
and then the air, it's it's meant that that, that little bevel where it allows the air to come in, and it does a great job at cleaning up boards. So let me put this other tip back over in the rack, and I'll show you. So like I say, here's some, you know, very bridged, lots of solder. You can see it's, it's really up there. So you know, there's a lot of solder on there. And, you know, just stick it on there. And cool to the touch. Now let me get a... Actually, I didn't get it all. I need to set this down on the bench. I'm trying. It's actually for starters. You get this damn anti-static strap off of my wrist. I end up with a wire to the camera, hose and cable from the desoldering iron. All this stuff's getting in the way. I should have this flat down on the bench like this. Purple. Cleaned up really well. And you can see, get the camera to focus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. You just don't want to focus on this shiny board, do you? It really doesn't. But you can see, and there's absolutely, it's perfectly flat. And this practice board has never been soldered on other than that one right there. And it feels exactly like the, the rest of them. So there's no excessive solder buildup on there. There's no trace damage. There's a good angle you can see it. It does a really, really nice job. Um... And it also works, of course, on you know, big blobs like this. Oh, come on, camera, get out of my way. Now, I will say from experience, one thing I have found is after it's been sucking for a certain length of time, no matter how much mass they have there, that tip is going to start to cool down. So that's why occasionally you'll see me stop, wait for a second, wait for some heat to you know come back out of the heating element back into the tip so it heats up really well. And, you know, and then I can continue if there's, you know, any additional cleanup that I want to do. But, uh, you know... It just does a really, really nice job at doing, you know, cleanup on circuit boards. Um, you know, and like I say, it's just, it removes all the solder. I mean, there's really nothing there. And no, I didn't break it there. That's actually, those are breaks in the, if <laughs> those are supposed to be there, just like over here. But, uh, yep, so there's the, the paste tip. Like I say, it's basically like a normal desoldering tip. It just has a little bit more wall thickness for a little bit more heat reserve. And I, I think the big key to what makes this work so well is that slight bevel cut. So I don't know, if you have a tip that's similar to this, you might try just taking a file and filing it at a, you know, a very shallow angle. And I think that's the key to what makes this work so well, is that little bit of a bevel they have on there. It allows the air mainly to only come in from one direction. But uh, the, I've used it on surface mount boards, and I find it's it's just priceless, you know. A single pad, yeah, honestly, I'd probably use something like solder braid too, or desoldering braid. But uh, when I'm doing surface mount, especially when you're getting into, you know, like you had that, uh, like a BGA style, or where you have something like this, a quad flat pack, especially like 208 pins, this is just so much nicer. And I'll tell you what, you could come back across this with desoldering braid, and you're not going to clean it up any better than that. I mean, it's, it's really, you almost have to feel it to believe um, how well it does at uh, pulling the solder off off of all the pads on one of these things. I mean, it really does a, a, a really nice job. 
So there you go. There's the flow desolder tip from Pace Equipment.